Hello everyone, this is Arokya for Easy Tutor. In this tutorial series, we are going to see how to develop Telegram bot. Uh, first, I will tell you how to create bot here, bot token and uh, how to implement it. Um, the different ways of uh, using the created bot using uh, direct API and uh, existing modules in python and all uh, first if i want to create a bot i need to get my token from telegram to use my bot to to do that first i need to uh, go to telegram and search for bot further search here my bot father you will get this uh, go for the similar icon from this you have a lot of options here for you to play with first one uh, you send a command slash help it will give you an option to create new bot or uh, to view the existing bots now those options you can see edit bots and box bot settings and games and all now we are going to use a uh, option called new bot I'm going to say new bot see it interacts with us it's asking us to choose a name for our bot let's say easy tutor bot good now let's choose a username for your bot it must end in underscore bot so I will say the same okay now our bot has been created it's it's that simple to create your bot uh, just the, get your token ready and this is my token it is completely for development purposes so I show this uh, I show my token here but I'll change it later yeah like this we can keep on changing uh, our bot token so you don't worry whatever the token here I am using I'll be changing it after uh, I publish this video so this is our token we have our bot ready let's explore the different options in uh, api for that let's visit this page this is a api for our telegram bot first here uh, there are simple steps first whatever you or me interacting with the bot we need to get those updates first for that we need to go through this and check these updates first we need to authorize our bot to get to authorize this is a basic url for telegram request let me uh, open my visual studio code then i will go to easy tutor bot api dot py um sorry before that let's experiment this api with uh, our client one of our rest api client so after that we can decide how are we going to code this to work for us or uh, after that we will check uh, the inbuilt or the already available module so how can we utilize that these are my experimentation the first one which we are looking at uh, now is getting the updates and before that this get me will help us to validate our token so this get me and this is the url https api telegram.org and slash bot after bot you need to place your token then slash get me so this is the format like that you need to call this api method name it could be either 
get me or uh, available updates or sending messages and you know, all those different types of methods in telegram api so let's first try with this let's uh, validate the token which we have created so this get me request i am passing so this is our api key in other words uh, token this is our uh, newly generated token yeah now i'm sending a get request it says unauthorized let's see Sometimes it may take time to reflect in API. Yeah, if you check now, it comes. So it says uh, first name and username, and is it a bot or not, and our ID. So this this is a response for uh, a success uh, case. So our bot is ready to interact with. So then. let's try to fetch uh the interaction with the bots for that we need to go to get methods here they have uh instructed you how to give the request uh, in get or post if it is in get you need to pass your uh, pa you need to pass your parameters in the url if it is post you need to build a dictionary and pass that dictionary data using data parameter in request module so like that it's it's up to us which one we select so that's uh, that's the second thing first we'll try to get the updates from our chatbot this is a get updates method so what am i going to do i am going to my uh, risk client is get updates so this ap key you need to replace it so oh, don't worry about this parameter now now we have get updates and bot let's get our uh, token mm, you can store it somewhere or oh, just for the experimentation purpose i'm copying from here uh, bot folder this is our token now we need to see the message which we sent slash start it should come in that updates okay now let's see i am sending slash help now let's get updates see slash help has come um this update id is uh, it will be keep on uh, incrementing for uh, each chat it's i am doing one more here one more request if you hit again it's a sequential number 8541019885410199 8541019 so it's sequential number which mentions each chat in for the chatbot and this message id for which identifies um, each individual message uh, item and this from uh, gives you the information who take who interacted with the bot and whether they are, they are also a bot or a normal user this is a chat id this chat id will be same and it will be different for uh, different users let's say um i can interact with the same bot at the same time you also can interact so both of us will be having a separate chat id this helps the bots to distinguish the different streams of interaction so this is a first name and username and all those information and uh, date uh, next format you need to convert into python format if you want to 
make it human readable and what is a text which they sent all those things that's it is a bot command or normal text and all this thing so first um, you can see the difference uh, here I have a text slash help and this says the type is bot command because I have started the text by uh, forward slash the second item you can see uh, the type was not mentioned uh, and type is in this entity's uh, attribute itself is not there because it's a normal text and we need to handle uh, these different items in our uh, bot handler so let's see all those things um, later now we have validated our created bot we have got a uh, we have got the updates from the bot now we need to try with uh, sending one simple message to the chat so i am going to send to this chat which is uh, me i am sending uh, so i am going to send a message to this chat id which is me for that we have the method called sending messages getting updates is get updates web hook and all we will see later available methods this many methods are available to send different type of chat now we are going to experiment with a simple text chat this is the same message stuff and here we have chat id this chat id you can see the description unique identifier for the target chat or the username of the target channel so we are going to pass this chat id and the text so now we have a send message this is send message endpoint url i'm going to replace our key token now i have replaced now i have the send message method and the parameter since it's a get request I'm going to pass everything in the URL only and in the URL you don't worry about this replay markup I'll tell you that later this is a hello from a first bot hello from easy tutor bot so this chat ID we need to uh, get from the updates this is a chat id this will be same here uh, in send message and replacing this chat id now let's see by hitting a send see i have received hello from easy tutor can check it here hello from easy tutor so now we have seen how to create the bot and how to get the updates from the bot and uh, how to interact with bot by sending a simple message in next video we'll see the available python module and how to use that module to interact with our bot and handle the different requests to our bot uh, stay tuned with easy tutor we'll be posting a lot of videos and make sure you subscribe for further videos and don't forget to click the bell icon to get the notifications when we upload new stuff thanks for watching guys